That is the theme in the in the second part. Let's hear it. Patriotism. One. Patriotism is the most meaningless emotion on earth. Or patriotism is the vital source, the lifeblood of a sacred emotion. Discuss. Two. And sentimentally he cries out, Brit Noth, as he lords his bravery, boggles at his sacrifice, curse the inv- curses the invaders on the causeway, and shouts at him not to be so bloody chivalrous. But the Battle of Malden and its epic poem fought on these shores in 991 is so long ago, so mixed up with myth and legend. How could he or his men or the poet ever have dreamed of the fantasy that anyone in a later time, a thousand years or more ahead, would create or live in in the name of that event? Of course not. And bar all real history traceable in the act, he is aware his fantasy is built on another's art. He is dreaming to the myth-making of a legend weaver. So, in, in 1066, so 1066 and Saxon chiefs, or 1640s levelers, Edwards, castles, battles and craziness of all kinds and eras, we choose our fetish and pursue our hobby horse, some shared by many, only by, some only by a few. Is it fantasy, as in destructive lie that harms your view of things, of folks and screws up international politics, steering presidents to make mistakes and fight truly stupid wars in the name of some make-believe? Or is it a beautiful way to remember precious things and people who have happened on the same shores or land as you in times before in which you weave a pattern, feel yourself to be a part, fashion a love and a thread between you and them, between the past, the landscape and your experience, codifying your caught-upness in your home, your hard-to-frame nestling into your own land, own county, own town or village or woods? Is it frightening, senseless, elicitor of violence, amounting to evil, a menace, a man and everything good? Or is it cloying, sweet reverie, too dear for words, a gentle dream which helps you through the days? Perhaps that is the paradox, because it's both. Wow, that was fantastic.